Hey guys, it's Brandon here from BMH Scheduling. I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to come in and do a live demonstration here real quick in Primavera P6 just to show you guys the type of lessons that we have over in our three course Primavera P6 library at bmhscheduling.yandu.com. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can color coordinate your activities based on the resource you have assigned to it so that way you can see what crews are working and when. So first, let's head over here to our filters so that way we can create a filter for each resource. So I'll head over here to my filters. And to save time, as you can see, we're working in excavation work. I've gone ahead and I've added these excavation crews right here. So if I go over here into modify, you can see this is the filters. They're pretty simple right here. I have the resource ID equals, and you can see the value right here. For E1 right here, I can go over here and modify. You can see so each resource ID equals their, their resource ID. So we do this for each resource. So I have these three resources that I've created here for these filters. Next, what we'll do is actually going to right click, and we're going to go over here to our bars. Hit over here to our bars now, you can see we're actually going to create a bar for each resource. So you can see I have excavation crew one, two, and three. And I've gone ahead and done this to save time. If I go ahead and hit add, you can see you can just add a new one. So I'll remove that. If I go over here to this excavation crew, you can see for filter, I actually am going to go in and assign the filter right here, excavation one to one, and select close. I'll do this again as well for excavation crew two, and we'll do this for three. Once we do this, we go ahead and we'll, we can choose a different color right here. And we're going to go ahead and select the display option right here. And once we select these options to display, I go ahead and select apply and OK. Now you can see we've gone ahead and actually changed our bars based on the resources that we have assigned to it. So we can see crew one right here, crew two, and crew three. What's interesting about this feature is if I right click and go back over to my bars over here, if you actually take these, uh, these bars right here and you actually move them above your critical, like you can see, we can shift up and down. If I move this above my critical work, I'll move all these bars up here. Um, and I select apply. You can actually see that when these bars are actually above our critical work, they, they won't actually display correctly. So you have to make sure that all of um, your bars are actually below your critical remaining work. So as you can see, if I shift back up to the top right here and select apply, you can see they all come back. And so this is kind of a nice layout that you can use as well when uh, you just want to get a better visual in your project. So that's just kind of an overall or quick demonstration that I wanted to do here in Primavera P6 just to show you the, some of the things that we do over at bmhscheduling.yandu.com. We have over 40 lessons like this that take you through Primavera P6 step by step. The lessons are only a dollar each and they're yours forever. Once again, that's bmhscheduling.yandu.com. So come and check us out and get better at Primo Bureau P6 and you can learn how to do stuff like this. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys.